What is up guys, Mr. Promo Kupaki here back with another video, but this video is something different. Yes, it is a HTML tutorial on how to make websites and stuff. So yeah, as you may notice, I have to Windows 8 installed. It's a very good operating system. Uh, I would recommend go out and buy it, so do go buy it. It's actually a discounted price until sometime soon. But yeah, it's discounted, so buy it. But anyway, yeah, that's not what this is about. I might do Windows 8 review later on but this is HTML video so today we're going to look at installing Eps XAMP which is sort of like a local server um, and also we're going to install Notepad++ which is a text editor so first what you want to do is you want to open up Google Chrome or whatever browser you use don't use it in Explorer so you want to open up your web browser you want to go to google.com and what you want to do is you want to type in XAMP with two P's at the end and click on the first one, Apache Friends uh, then you would like to click on a pa XAMP for Windows, this is a Windows tutorial yep, it's technically a Windows 8 tutorial because I have Windows 8 but it will work on Windows 7 like this so uh, what you want to do is you come to this page, you want to go to the download bit and just click the first one then you want to click installer but I already have it installed, so I don't need to do this. But your download will start in, yeah, your download will start. It will start downloading down here, and as you can see, it's a relatively big file, so I'm gonna not do that. But once you have it installed, uh, you will open it up, and you should get something like this. And you open it, and what you can do is these will be turned off, everything will be turned off and it will say start let's see what you want to do it will look basically just turn it off hurry up it's taking a long time and that made a strange noise oh there we go okay so it's soft now and then you, you'll have something like this you just want to hit start on my sql and start on Apache and now they're both started they should be both be highlighted green and you have done with installing Epsom that's that easy but just to check it works what you want to do or you want to open up your Chrome or if your web browser isn't just type in localhost and if you installed it correctly it should automatically redirect you to this page so yeah next we're going to go back to Google and we're going to notepad++ this is my personal favorite text editor, editor, just purely because it's free and it's very good. So you just want to hit download. Download once again. Uh, it will. It's just a basic installer. So you install it normally, and then it will appear probably on your desktop. But I've got it here, and then when you open it up, it should look like something like this. So that's really basically it for installing things so first we'll just we'll make a basic HTML document so we can get started in the next tutorial Oops. so what you want to do is you get this page you want to go to language and select HTML well H HTML okay so first off the HTML is like divided into tags what a tag is it's these things here so you start off every HTML web page with the HTML tags and as you may have noticed, this is different in the last tag. That basically means end tag. So, yeah, that's ending the tag. And then you put all of your website information in here. Um, so I'm just going to quickly save it in here. So when, when you've installed XAMP, you should, in your C drive, have a new folder called XAMP. You want to go into that. And you want to go into htdocs. And then this is where you can put your stuff. I've made an extra directory called sites html tutorial source and I'm going to save it as index.html and I would advise that you save it as index.html as well just to make it easier so if we now go into our web browser go on local host slash sites slash html tutorials slash src it's not found it probably because I typed it in wrong okie dokie let me just figure this out XAMP, okay, sites, HTML tutorials, as I say, tutorials, hmm, maybe I spelled something wrong. <coughs> let me just, let me just uh, figure this out, guys. 
Ah, I put sight instead of sights. There we go. That was embarrassing. But there we go. Now we just have a blank web page, which means it has worked. So yeah, I'm going to leave that open in Google Chrome. And we basically have made a basic web page. But what we're going to do is we're going to dis quickly display some basic info on the page. So the next tag that you have in HTML is the head tag. And just to end that there. And this basically is the head of the web page. That's pretty much all I can tell you. It we put stuff like linking to style sheets and stuff in there, but we'll get onto that in a very later tour. Uh, the next tag that's probably the uh, probably yeah is title, and you generally end that on the same line because you put information in between the tags here. So say I'm going to put uh, HTML hyphen home. And now if we go back into Google Chrome, refresh the page, it says HTML home up here. So this is basically the title up here, where my mouse is circling. Circ that's not a word, but oh well. Uh, so I think that's it for the head so far. Yep. The next is body. And you want to end that there. And that's done. Yep. And then body is the main body of the web page so information that will be displayed here in this big white space so first we're going to display a title uh, but it's not called title it's called h1 and h1 stands for header one um, which is the biggest header you can get six different headers h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 so uh, and yeah they just vary in sizes h1 is the biggest one so if I type in HTML tutorials and then go back into the web page reload reload refresh then we have HTML tutorials right there um, if I then do a smaller one do h3 end it by mr. pro milky bar kid and then reload refresh not reload there we go you see it's smaller so pretty cool uh, another one we can do is we can underline the title, but I won't do that because it looks pretty ugly. But to do it, you just do a tag, and you do you, and then you end it here with you like that. That's pretty basic stuff. And yeah, so now we basically have some basic info displayed on our web page. Uh, so yeah, I think that's going to be it for this first tutorial. Uh, HTML is very, very basic to start off with. Just letting you all know that. It's a very very easy to learn language. I learned it literally in a, a few in a weekend. I learned most of it. Um, but then when you start getting onto CSS3 stuff, then it starts to get a little more complicated. So I will show you another file I'm working on with some HTML3 uh, with HTML3 with some um, CSS3. So you the CSS file is basically a style sheet. So it's what the website looks like, and you link it here but we'll get into that later and you get stuff like this which it looks very complicated and it does literally the simplest of things so if we go into localhost and then go onto that website then say one line of the CSS will make the shadow or make the boxes and stuff but yeah so yeah HTML is pretty simple um, the next tutorial, I think we'll just have a look at paragraphs and stuff like that and just get all that out of the way. And then we'll move on to style sheets and start making the website look pretty damn awesome and work on nav bar, navigation bars and stuff like that. So, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I've been Mr. Promo Kabakid and this has been your first HTML tutorial. So, thanks for watching and remember to leave a like. Thank you.